All right, I'm here, and um, today we are going to do a documentary about about the uh, Blair Witch Project. You guys may think that it's all fake and stuff, and it was just a movie. I'm going to out to see it. I'm going out to see if this thing, if this actual phenomenon is real, and hopefully, I can. If it's real, I can catch it on tape. So, yeah, let's end this. All right, we're here. Um, we're in our we're in our car. I uh, we're we're at this little house, well neighborhood, pretty close to the Witch Woods. That's what that's what we're gonna be calling it. And uh, yeah, there's just you nervous? I I really am nervous. I'm not. I'm ready to record every experience we get from here. Oh yeah, it it might be a little creepy though. It might, but we'll be okay. Yeah, cool. I Plus, think we'll be okay. Everybody knows this isn't actually real. I know, yeah. Yeah. Nothing's gonna actually happen. <laughs> Alright, let's end the recording here. Okay, so hold it. We're back here. And we just got out of the truck and we're heading down we're heading down a street that leads to the the for Blair Witch Forest. I'm <laughs> scared. No, I'm definitely not scared. <laughs> How about you? No, I know nothing's actually going to happen. We're going to be fine. Of course we are. People just hype themselves up to get themselves scared. Plus, wasn't the movie fake? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I know pe- other people have done this before, but I think I think we probably won't find them because it's not real. It, it It is just not real. It's so fake. Don't believe it. I'm actually starting to get a little scared. Hey. Hi. We just made it to the to this lake. And here's the wait, have haven't you um heard the story about the missing hiker from from like what? From what, like five years ago? I haven't heard the whole thing, at least. Yeah, this, let me tell you the story. I, I don't really want to get copyrighted, but yeah, I'll still say it. So, um, about five years ago, there was a, there was this hiker who's going through the through those woods right right over there, and it, and they went missing, and here and the story was that they. Got, they got murdered or they drowned, but I, but I believe that um that the that the hiker was was running from something. I thought you said you didn't believe in any of this. I only believe in parts of it, but he and that thing drowned him because the body was found three days later. Okay. Kind of crazy. Hmm, probably just a coincidence. You really believe that? I think most of life is just fate and coincidence. All right, I'm in the recording. Here. All right, so we're back here. We just got back from the from the lake, and we're go- we're stopping we're stopping for the night. We're we're going back to the truck, and we're going and we're going to stay. We're going to um go back home and stay. Stay there for the night. Then in the morning, we're going to continue the search. It's going to be kind of... So what are your thoughts on this? Not bothered. I kind of wanted, wanted to continue, but... I, I just woke up, and it's like... I kept the lights on outside. I'm getting kind of freaked out. And... Um, it's like two, two in the morning, almost three, and I'm gonna head over to Emily's room. Wake her up, Emily, 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 Emily. Wake up, please. Wake up, wake up, please. Wake, wake up, wake up. I heard something downstairs. I'm getting kind of scared. What? 
I'm getting kind of scared. I heard something downstairs. Riley, we already know this isn't real. Just go back to bed. Jenny, come, come on. Please just I come. <laughs> okay, we just got downstairs. Grab the flashlight. And I heard it coming from here. See anything? No. Wait, what was that? Do you hear that? I don't see anything. Come put the light over here. I can't see it. Don't see. Oh my god. Did you see that? What? I saw something move. Wait, what is that? Point, it, point the light at the nightstand. Put the light at the nightstand. What is that? Oh my god. Why is there a gun in the house? Emily, why is there a gun in the house? We're the only people who are here. Okay, that... Is there something here? I'm, I'm getting scared. How about you? Uh, something over here, but like I, I mean, like, we don't even have a gun. We don't own a gun. There's a gun downstairs, though. What? There's what? There's that gun that was downstairs. I know. How did it get there? We don't own one. I mean, we rented the house, so the owners probably own it. I... I know the owners. I whenever we previewed this house for this documentary, it they told us nothing about a gun that would be here. They don't use the they aren't using this house. They're on a vacation right now. Still, they could have used it for that. And did you hear that noise? That whisper? Yeah. And you even saw something move under the bed. Yeah. It went under the bed. There's a gun that's not ours. What is happening? Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Should we try to go out to bed or should we investigate? I think we should investigate. Because if we go back to bed, what if something gets us? What if something is here? What if something is living in this house and we don't know about it? You hear that? Coming from outside. Go. Okay, we we've been um we've been up for a while talking about this. Yeah, the sun, as you can tell, is starting to come up again. Yeah, we're getting kind of scared. Yeah, and um, I don't really know what to do about this, but I think we should go find it, find the cause of this. We're going to find. We're going in back to the woods. <sighs> Three, two, one. Okay. We're in the forest. Wait, what is that? Is that? No. I told you. I told you. You go that way. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Emily. Oh my god. 